way, way, <laughs> way back in 1988-89. I was doing demo tapes uh, with uh, a family friend called DJ Gruff. He was like the Molly Mall to our Juice crew. It was a bunch of us graffiti writers and MCs that used to you know, get down and we used to go to Gruff's house our DJ slash producer. And uh, a mutual friend that I knew from graffiti, went to school with Ella Sensei, and was like, yo, this is where I get down at, this is where we making our demos at, blah, 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 blah. So of course, an upcoming MC, L wanted to get his songs done. Bring them by the Gruff's house. J Burn J brought L up to the, uh, the power station, that's what we called it, over DJ Gruff's house. He did a couple of songs, we did them, then, we rock together. <laughs> Just experiment. He, he, was, uh, he was never there when I was there, and when he was there, I wasn't there. So we finally hooked up, you know, did a song, and the chemistry was just right. Like, the whole crew was like, yo, y'all sound dope together. But they didn't know it was going <laughs> They didn't know it was going to turn out the way it did. From there, we kept doing songs. We, we, we were make, actively making demos and started doing neighborhood talent shows at Club 88, um, all the high school talent shows <laughs> in, in East Orange and North and all that. Do you want to interject when we bought Chaos? Yeah, there? yeah. <laughs> like, um, like, like you said, Rhino was like, you know, me being brought into that was, was, was dope because I had no idea, no idea that any of this existed because I was just in the crib doing all this to myself writing to myself, I had no crew, was no DJ around my man, uh, Pyro, and them just be down the street, so I messed with them because he had turntables. Rich French? Yes. Him and, him, 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 him and Pyro used to be down the, down the block on, on Harrison. So I, I, I meet him, we do the song, and it was like, and, and actually the song was called Break It Down, and that's why we named it probably one of the songs on the Dastam album after that. We did talent shows, and, and we got our name from just showing up at rehearsals, because a lot of these shows you had to audition. So, I'm, and my man Tony, rest in peace. Tony used to come, he used to tell us to come, because he knew me before I introduced him to team. So we did the one rehearsal, we came through the audition, smoked everybody that came in. It was a Saturday morning, early in the morning. So we we did maybe, I think, three of those. I After the first one, the second one came, and we showed up late again to the next audition. He's like, yo, don't come early, come late. We get to the audition, and everybody was there. That was probably in the last show, but it was pe people there that knew who me and Tane was, and this is how we got our name. We were walking the spot, and when you walked in this club, it was morning, so the daylight break through all the night, so it's still like a club and inside. They see us walking the door, you see the shadows, and you like, oh, damn, that's them. That's them dudes, them dudes are here. But Tony be laughing. <laughs> yeah. I got my brothers in here, so what y'all gonna do? And every time we came like that, we would win, get an audition quick and be gone. These were things that we, you know, was known for. We had our polo crew, we had dudes dancing with us. You know, my man Polo Ice, we had a whole, this whole thing was built on what we was trying to do when we was just in the hood. We was in the hood just doing this shit. Naughty was right there with us. I went, I went to school with Naughty. So they graduated the year before me. So we seeing everybody, you know, you seeing all this shit happening, you know, even with Red and, and Laws, everybody was coming right after uh, in another. It was we a was, wave. We were the we was the last ones. You know, and, and that felt good because, you know, when we came, everybody felt like we legitimized hip hop in a way in, in Jersey that wasn't looked at at all. And that was pretty much when me and Tane got together, that was our goal. And still is today. So, you know, from being in Rhino's house to being here, being on stages in Japan, Czech Republic, Paris and London and everywhere else, we never knew meeting up in that room in 1988, 1989. In that hot ass room. Barely AC <laughs> in the room. <laughs> you know, we never knew we'd be here today doing that. And, and I'm just gonna say I'm grateful to have had the opportunity to do that uh, where I can actually say, if we ever had to be on TV, we can get an unsung done. Oh, fuck an unsung, we can get an MTV, with, with the behind the, behind the music shit, whatever you want to call it, we got a good story. You know, because it's really genuine and, and we worked hard for it. And, you know, I wouldn't change it for shit. I wouldn't change nothing. Yeah, I wouldn't change it. nothing. And they, they stumbled across me in like a local 
DJ battle down in one of like the parks, you know doing what I'm saying? What we, doing what we was doing before. And we I, I was I was actually with another crew at the time, and I mean, and we was there, and um, I was the DJ battle, and when I got off stage, like fuck that, fuck that, he missing the whole thing. <laughs> we was walking, and we just we heard them, we heard them, but then he started doing the routine from uh, Manifest, Words of Manifest, Gangsta, and we just like, oh shit, like who that dude, little black motherfucker up on that stage. Mm -hmm. And we, and we walked up to him after the show was up. We said champion is dope, but we came to him like, yo, you're dope. And give me your phone number. I don't know how this shit like, happened like that. We just yeah, we got, got numbers. numbers. We, did, we sat there. We just talked for a minute. You know, we should always just see, keep seeing each other all around the way in the neighborhood and just hanging out. Go up to his spot. I'll be my man Jay Scratch House around the corner. See him, you know what I mean? And yeah, we just kept in touch. And... Shit, I used to call him playing songs off the album. Yo, let me listen to this one. You know, mm -hmm. and I, you know we, that's how I got to know him more, just playing shit on the, on the phone, not knowing he was eating it up, like, oh shit, we on, you know, so it, it, it was like some shit that happened where Raider really got into the D, the DMC shit. And he yeah, was he like, to go win the DMC. he was like, yo, I got, I'm, I'm out. We were like, oh, you really, because I used to go to his crib and him, rest in peace. I used to go to Raider crib and, and he knew I would get off the train on 116th. So he's like, yo, where you, where you at? Where you at right now? So I'm on one season. Yo, get the fuck back on the train and come to my house. He, he lived on a 112 in Lennox. So he, I used to go over there. He caught me some bud. We, I'd go in there and just watch him practice. Watch him do all the routines that he won them battles on. So when he told me he was going, I was like, oh, shit. I was happy for him. But then I was like, wait, we ain't got no DJ now. Mind you, we were sharing Raider with Showbiz and AG. So we was in Texas. Me and Tane was like, what the fuck we going to do? So he was like, yo, what's up with that with chaos? What's up with him? I was, I was nothing, I guess. I don't know. He's still DJ, DJ and the champ in him. I don't know. So I can just call him. Right in the hotel room. Call him chaos. Chaos, what's your ass doing? Nothing. <laughs> what you doing, chaos? Chill. Chilling. <laughs> who you what you doing, chaos? Nothing, yo, what's up? Like, who you DJing for? Nobody. Alright, you wanna be our DJ? Easy as that. Yeah, bet. But then he had to do the audition. Raider, Raider, we told Raider, Raider was like, word, word, who take my place? Who take my place, yo? He said, oh, my man, my man Chaos, word, I gotta meet him. And we told him to come to this spot we used to go to on Wednesday nights. Every Wednesday, we used to go to this place called The Pipe Line. We was having a party for the second album. Just Blaze was there, and he used to be, he used to come through from Patterson, DJ, and he used to always come late. He still do that when he go to a Mobile Monday. He always come late and do his thing and then leave. Because now he comes late in a Lamborghini. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, you know, we used to, we, we told uh, Raider and them to come down there. Actually, they were DJing too. It was a really special thing we were doing. I just remember, uh, uh, um, I'd say, Raider, we're going to go in the, in the um, car and smoke. Uh, Eclipse was with him, I think, or, or Sinister. Sinister. Sinister was with him. So we go in the, in the van, we play the whole album, second album, right there for Raider. Every song that got cuts on it, he's looking at chaos like, okay, okay. <laughs> every song. And when this is the way went off, he was like, okay, I'm convinced. I'm convinced <laughs> now. You're good. You're hired. Okay, I can chill. <laughs> I can relax. I was like, all right, bet. And, and, you know, that that was a good blessing from Raider because, like, you know, the way we met him, to be able to share a DJ like that, like that. God damn that we, DJ made my we saw, day. We saw this dude do shit. Man, when we was in UMass, I saw Raider, like I never seen nobody pick up the fucking mixer off the table and then you start doing this and shit, man. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> and he's still cutting, you know, doing that, one hand. <laughs> man, man, we, then we, and I lost my mind. I was like, oh my God, but then the treat for that whole thing was watching Sinister cut for beating us and coming and then to see Raider do that shit. So it was tricks galore. You ain't even know what the fuck to do with yourself watching all that shit at, at one time. What folks might not know about Raider, Raider used to pop mad shit, and he, but he did his thing on the turntable to let you see. That was when he really picked your ass out, but on some regular shit, Raider was so cool, but he wasn't, don't take him like, that's why he was doing the karate shit too.